What's up everybody and welcome back to another Forgotten Farm Friday, where we go over farms from past expansions that you may have forgotten about. Today we're talking about one mob in particular, this Twilight Fire Guard. They are located right here in the northwesternmost portion of Searing Gorge. So for Alliance, it's a pretty nice quick flight up northeast here. Uh, Horde, it's a little bit harder. You could port to Duskwood and fly way north, or you could go from Twilight Highlands, go southwest. Either way, I highly recommend you come out and farm up a bunch of these. These are two patterns that used to be removed from the game, have since been reintroduced, so not a whole lot of people are aware that they still exist. Oh, that person's going to kill my mob right there. Uh, so the two patterns in question are the pattern Cindercloth Vest. It has a region market value of 2.6k with a 0.04 sell rate. It is currently going for 9k on my server, so it was 100% worth it for me to come out here and farm this up. And the second pattern is the pattern Cindercloth Gloves, a 1.6k region market value, and a, on my server it's 2k, with a region sell rate of 0.03. So they will take a while to sell, however, they're pretty quick to get, and I recommend not only having the pattern up, but also if you have a tailor on your server, also send them a pattern, that way they can craft it, and then you can have both of them up on the auction house, that way you can double your sales. Now, they spawn, unfortunately, uh, they share a spawn point with these other ones here, the Twilight Geomancers. Um, so I recommend as you go and farm them, I recommend that you kill both. So the drop rate, if you look on Wowhead, is incredibly low because at one point, like I said, they were removed from the game. So they have since been introduced. So the drop chance is a little wonky on there. Um, but I have found it doesn't take me very long to get patterns. Like, uh, I just was running around testing this and it didn't take long to get both the Cindercloth vest and the gloves. So I highly recommend you come out here and do this. So they spawn starting from up here at, at this area here. They spawn all around this area here and then actually into the cave. So what I like to do is a little loop where I start up here, work my way into the cave, and then the cave kind of loops around so I come out and then what I actually recommend is I made a video on these guys earlier. Uh, the Dark Iron Steamsmith. They drop the Shadow Wave Mask pattern. So that goes for quite a bit too. So I would do the same thing. Uh, post a pattern up on the auction house and send one to your tailor as well because those sell very, very nicely. Uh, so I would just do a big loop here because the Steamsmith, I feel like they have a much longer respawn timer than the fire guards over here. So I would kind of do a combo of both. So that being said, I hope you guys come out here. I hope you get yourself some, oh, look at that. Look at that gloves right there. So don't believe the wow head percent. Oh, see, look at that. Two right back to back. <laughs> so wow. Yeah, I would not believe the, what the wow head percentage, like the drop percentages. I think it's way off just because they were removed at one point. But I, like I said, I have really, really good luck when I come out here. I don't have to come out here too often. See, there's a third gloves. The only downside to this is you just have to be very, very careful that you don't post all three of them at the same time up on the auction house because that way it's, it's going to flood the market and then everyone, like the price is just going to go down even more. So when I first started farming this, the patterns were worth way more. But I feel like some people got hold of the knowledge that they exist. Yeah, see gloves again. Uh, so the price just drops because they're pretty readily available. But it doesn't hurt, like I said, to have a couple or have one up on the auction house. Just because it's anything can help just increase the amount of gold that you have up on the auction house. But guys... That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you come out. Hope you do this little loop here where you kill the fire guards and then you come over here and kill the steamsmiths. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.